My team is about 25 people within the wider design team of about 40. What we're really trying to do there is predict the performance of the boat. I like working on engineering that achieves something. Some of the innovation we did in Formula One, I worked on power shift gearboxes, I was part of Lewis's championship bid. Land Rover, long established company, big innovators in the car world, obviously got some really talented people across aerodynamics, across data analysis that we can add to our team and just improve our ability to try ideas and to innovate and to try and find performance. Maurizio is an interesting character in that respect because he's bringing a totally different perspective to things. He wants to stand back, just look at the data as numbers, try and spot trends, try and find out things that we wouldn't spot almost because we're too close to it. I'm embedded with the Land Rover BR team as a performance engineer. Essentially what we're trying to do is get a better insight of how or why the boat is performing in the way that it is performing and try to find ways to increase that performance. Basically what I'm looking for are patterns. There's combinations of behaviors that the boat has that could potentially give us a clue as to why the boat goes faster in certain conditions. We're applying machine learning and artificial intelligence, and they haven't really been applied to this sort of data before. Machine learning at BAR, that's the cavalry of performance analysis. With machine learning, what you can do is save time, right? Instead of having to go out on the water and changing one thing, we can virtually change many things at once. It's absolutely fantastic. A lot of the techniques that I use at JLR are also applicable here. The way that the data coming off of these sensors is very similar to the vehicle case. Your vehicle telemetry, how fast are you going, the environment, personal preferences of the person in the vehicle. We can use the data that is coming off of these vehicles to essentially give the boat more speed. It would be really, really rewarding if we win the cup now and if we can essentially trace that back to some of the analysis that we did. It's just as much as having a really well-trained sailing team as it is to have a boat that's easy to sail. When you connect the two, I think that's what's really going to bring it home. I definitely think that the secret weapon of this America's Cup is data. I think the teams are going to be quite close. They've had another four years to have a go at these boats than they have since the last cup, and so the differences will drop. It's going to be the incremental changes. Each one's going to make a small difference, and uh, if you add all those small differences up, you'll be the winning boat.